all of you must have heard of this particular term image segmentation and uh, obviously the meaning is quite clear that segmenting a particular image is image segmentation but uh, when this particular process gets applied in the medical field it becomes medical image segmentation now why it is important and specifically in medical field what is the value so as you must have known that uh, the medical field is a kind of a very explorative field where so much research goes on and most of the highest citing journals uh, come from the medical field only so that's why it's a uh, high paid and uh, quite uh, rich uh, research field and as well as uh, if you are working as a researcher in this particular field there are different dimensions open to you not uh, in the field of academic research in the field of uh, industry research also so coming to the topic back uh, we are going to have a discussion on the medical image segmentation and uh, what is this it is just the extraction of reason of interest you must have heard of this term roi also so this uh, comes uh, uh, quite popularly in uh, different uh, journals and uh, so many people discuss about this particular term reason of interest in, in different contexts depending on the research which they are targeting now if the image data that is uh, available that might be 2d 3d or some uh, uh, different forms it means it might be videos and then you are taking some sampling and then you are converting into images it means uh, the processing or the conversion of the images or the videos is quite obvious and then you are applying the segmentation and all those images or the videos are of medical field so it becomes the medical image segmentation hope the meaning is quite clear and uh, most probably usually we see all these processes in so many uh, x-ray examinations uh, ct examinations or the mri examinations like this okay so straightforwardly we'll jump on to a particular repository because usually uh, we always discuss a repository or something which is close to the topic that we are targeting so in today's uh, video we are targeting the medical image segmentation so we are going to discuss ibdnet so ibdnet is what this repository contains the source code of a kind of a segmentation network that uh, uh, usually uh, offers you different sorts of uh, segmentation challenges and uh, when you discuss these sort of things the common sort of things that come into picture uh, include the deep learning then the segmentation then you have the kind of uh, different sorts of uh, image processing is also the part because uh, when we say the medical image segmentation then segmentation gets uh, done with the help of some specific filters and those filters get supplied using the concept of image processing because if you are an image processing or the image synthesis student then you must have known this concept of filter using a specific matrix we get uh, uh, we get uh, the image or the videos process done and then we have the specific filtered image so that might be the segmented image that might be some other thing or something like that so coming to the specific uh, uh, contribution of ibd net so it is the intervertebral uh, in uh, disk localization and segmentation in MRI with a multimodal unit. So specifically it is targeting MRI and this contains the source code of IVD net segmentation network link they have provided. So if you are interested, you can go through this and uh, open it. And uh, specifically uh, they have taken a part uh, of uh, Mikai 2018 IVD segmentation challenge also. And uh, they are using the segmentation uh, in multimodal MRI images. So some of the basic requirements, uh, they are saying that uh, they are using the PyTorch 3.5 and the PyTorch implementation is also being the part of process. The steps to run the code, uh, including the kind of pre-processing which is needed with respect to the IVD data set is also discussed over here. Then simply you need to just give a single command line input. Finally, coming to the specific results. So they have discussed that uh, the different categories of uh, pictures uh, they have shown then pre-filtering post filtering all sort of different processes how the different sorts of images are getting filtered how the final images are looking like all these things that they have shown now specifically jumping on to the work so in this particular work you can find uh, on archive and uh, there you can have the different sorts of localization and segmentation based issues which are discussed in this particular work specifically People are saying that uh, uh, they are contributing an architecture for uh, IVD localization and segmentation. And obviously, as we discussed with that, they are using the multimodal MRI. So in this way, the different sorts of contributions come to the picture 
that uh, people say that they have integrate, uh, integrated and uh, fully leveraged the multimodal data. And uh, secondly, uh, that usually people do claim that uh, many times uh, the hyper dense net means uh, the network which is having the densely connected layers. So they are having different sorts of path. So gathering all the uh, different sorts of information, granting the model the freedom to learn where and how to have the different modalities uh, can be processed and combined in an efficient way. So that is the part of process. Uh, and that is a kind of main contribution of this particular work. Still, if you are interested, just to jump onto the PDF version and you will find the all related information, including the background study, including the kind of data sets which they have considered, including the multimodality and the kind of results which they have obtained. So uh, this got available on 19 uh, 2018 on RZI, so not very old one. And coming down here, uh, obviously it is the basic introduction, then you can directly jump onto the methodology. If you're basically familiar with these terms, these medical fields, MRI, then image segmentation, et cetera, then the importance of medical image segmentation, et cetera. Then the concept of multi-modality is quite important because ultimately they are targeting this particular thing only. Then uh, when they discuss uh, the different sorts of inception, uh, module, then you can see that what is the extended inception module over here. And finally, they have shown and the architecture of IVD segmentation. So starting with these basic details, they have formulated the kind of problems, then they have taken the data sets, then they have uh, performed some analysis, then they have given the results. Like uh, a usual paper, everything is available over here. But in a specific details, the medical, medical image segmentation has been targeted specifically in this paper. So if you are targeting for this particular research topic, I recommend you to go to this particular uh, paper and you will find the most of the useful information which should be part of a medical image segmentation. So this is the basics from this particular work. Now coming back to the specific details of medical image segmentation. So usually uh, we do know that there are so many things in the medical fields which need to be taken care of. But uh, usually the uh, segmentation is important because out of the whole image, many times the people need to focus on a specific part of the image. That's why this thing comes to picture. And uh, as we are focusing the major, uh, image and the video based things, so, so obviously the concept of vision comes to picture. So it is part of computer vision also where we are taking the medical images into focus. Now, when we are having different sorts of things uh, like this uh, in this particular field of medical image segmentation, then the point of uh, focus is this, that we want to give a precise and accurate representation of the objects. Because ultimately, we are saying that we are targeting a particular object, but it's orientation, it's uh, representation, because many times that particular object that you are targeting might be very blur. So having the sharpening, having the sort of segmentation, having the coloring and all these things are important. And all these things can become possible with the help of image processing. Again, the concept of filtering, coloring, et cetera, comes in and hand to hand, uh, hand in to hand means uh, having different sorts of things together, you can get it done. It's not that difficult as it looks like because there are different key terms. So, so if you are a non-image processing or non-computer uh, vision student, then obviously it might look difficult to you. But if you study the basic things, then it's quite straightforward. Now coming to the data sets or the models which are contributing into this particular field. So number of data sets are available and different models are part of it. So including the discussion, let me tell you some of the related data basis. So there is a CBC column DB, then you have the glass and then you have the right RIT, then ACDC and the ISIC then uh, LITS, then robust, then you have the HSVM, then you have cell, then you have drive, et cetera, et cetera. Multi of the multiple uh, databases we have also covered in our database series. So if you are interested, you can go and search over there. Additionally, different models have been part of uh, magic, means uh, uh, these research works which have contributed in the field of medical image segmentation. Uh, some of them include the REST unit plus plus, then uh, the FCT, and you have the SWIN uh, unit R, then uh, you have the MET T, and uh, the uh, column segnet uh, is an uh, important one. Then you have the F unit, and uh, another one is uh, that uh, double unit. And uh, lastly, I will like to highlight the C2FBL. 
so all these uh, different models uh, are part of uh, uh, the specific research which has been done in the field of medical image segmentation additionally some of the common tasks that you can focus because many times if you are a beginner in the research then we want to highlight that this is a broad field specifically we want to target a specific field or the concise field so where we should go so there are different things like uh, you can go for a specific type of segmentation like you may target the brain tumor segmentation you may target the uh, cardiac segmentation then you have the size like recently we have COVID, uh, so the COVID-19 image segmentation. So what is your application area? That's a different thing. But additionally, your techniques are important. So segmentation techniques are important, but your database is also important because the data set ultimately you need to get uh, get it pre-processed. So if the data set is not pre-processed, so many different uh, errors will be there. And obviously the model will not work properly because uh, it will not get trained on the efficient images. Now coming to the specific detailing of uh, more uh, subtasks that you can have. So you can have the skin cancer segmentation, means all these are application based, uh, different uh, things that you can do. So uh, automatic uh, uh, kind of a brain cancer uh, segmentation, then you have the acute stroke lesson segmentation, iris segmentation, liver segmentation, 3D imaging segmentation, et cetera, et cetera. Number of, N number of segmentations are possible because ultimately N number of objects are there and you can target specifically a specific type of medical object and that particular thing might be your specific application area. Now coming down to the multiple papers. So as I told you that uh, there are different uh, models. So specifically one work unit is there, which is uh, the convolutional networks for biomedical uh, image segmentation. It is a kind of important paper having the PyTorch implementation and the Git repository is also available. Then you have the Segnet. Segnet is a involving uh, the deep convolution encoder decoder architecture. A specific video on the encoder decoder we have uh, made and uh, if you are not familiar with this particular concept you can go and check in our checklist. It means uh, there is a uh, whole playlist over there. Then uh, you can have the uh, image segmentation using these encoder decoder architecture, which is covered in the segment. Now coming to other work, there is VNet. VNet is involving the cafeteria implementation where the fully convolutional neural network is discussed for volumetric medical image segmentation, where the uh, large volume of images have been considered. Then you have the trans unit where the transformers make strong encoders for medical image segmentation. And uh, similarly, multiple other papers are available. So hopefully, uh, this discussion must have been useful in some way for your uh, analysis and future research. Uh, if you don't uh, know much, definitely it would have been useful. And at least you must have got some of the basic idea. And if you are a pro researcher, then definitely there must have been some of the issues or the errors which I have done in the video. So please do comment below and uh, put your points forward. I will definitely try to involve them in my future videos. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.